Good morning, Baron Collier Cougars. Today is Friday, January 15th. There is no school on Monday, and Tuesday is a virtual learning day for students. Enjoy a well-deserved long weekend. District midterm exam makeups began today, Friday, January 15th. If you missed a district created exam, please follow the schedule for makeups. If you missed a teacher created exam, please see your teacher for makeup testing. Morning Cougars, Dr. Applegate coming to you from the counseling office. Wanted to go over some dual enrollment information. Uh, dual enrollment is a program that lets you take high school credits and college credits at the same time. Best part about it is we pay for the classes, we pay for the books, and you can earn college credits while still attending Barron. You can either do this part-time or full-time. Part-time on campus, we have the ENC 1101 and ENC 1102 English classes, and then we have uh, the history classes that are offered as well. You can also take part-time off campus with FSW. So you can come to Barron, take a couple classes, go off campus and take some classes that way. Then there's the early admission program. The early admission program means that you're taking full-time classes at FSW and FGCU both of which still allow you to participate in sports and clubs and everything else as if you were a Baron Collier student. Only difference is if you're an FGCU full-time dual enrollment student, you are not allowed to participate in band. FSW's requirements, SAT or ACT scores, uh, you can see the scores there, 24 for reading, 24 for math, 19, 19 and then 17 for English. The other option with FSW is you can take their AccuPlacer. The AccuPlacer is their uh, test which says that you can are qualified to take their courses. Uh, we have an AccuPlacer test coming up on February 24th, so you need to get signed up if you're wanting to take that. When you go to FSW, you're going to want to go to the dual, dual Enroll Early Admit section at the, at the website and fill out your information because this is the part that goes for you because you're high school students, not a college student starting for the first time. FGCU's requirements need a minimum 500 reading and writing, 500 math, 1140 for SAT, 2020, 20, composite score of 23 for the ACT. I mention FGCU now because FGCU's requirement is March 31st. There is an ACT test February 6th here at Barron, but you need to sign up by tomorrow the 15th. So you have to sign up by January 15th in order to take that ACT test. You can take the SAT in March, but your scores may not get there before March 31st. If you're deciding to do the FSW dual enrollment, you can scan the QR code. It'll take you to the survey so you can fill it out and let us know that that's what you're planning on doing. If you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to your counselors. We will also be coming into the classrooms the first week of February to discuss scheduling. And at that time, you could also ask additional questions. Hope you all have a good day and go Cougars! Students, if you have borrowed a laptop or charger from the Media Center, please return it as soon as possible. Fines will be assessed this week. The next meeting for the Physics Club is Thursday, January 24th in room 304 in the Blue Hallway. Hot Commodity, the BC Literary Magazine, is taking submissions until the end of the quarter. So make sure to submit your artwork, poetry, writing, photography, etc. to litmagbc at gmail.com by January 18th to get your work published in this issue. GSA is on Canvas. Message Ms. Bajma or Ms. Walker in Canvas and give them your student number if you want to be added to the group. The Project Graduation T-Shirt Contest is accepting submissions until the end of January. Check the seniors page of the school website for details. If you have questions, contact Mrs. Poff at 239-253-3783. Good luck. 
In a landslide victory, the varsity girls basketball team dominated against Palmetto Ridge 64 to 18 yesterday. In a great game, the Barron varsity girls soccer team won two to one against Laley yesterday. Lola Shea scored two goals and Ashlyn Freshwater and Eden Abagir had assists. Yesterday, the, the JV girls soccer team beat Laley to advance their record to six to two to two. The team outscored Laley 18 to one and the score was 1-0. to zero. Jenna Siciliano, Hannah Ogden, Olivia Ritchie, Kira Ocampo-Hedrick, and Renata Padrans led the defense, and Gabby Andrade led the offense in a great game. The boys' soccer team plays Laley today, and it is another varsity-only night for soccer versus Cape Coral. It is senior night for the boys at 6.30. There is a girls' tennis meeting today at 2.30 on the tennis courts. Softball tryouts will be Monday, January 18th at 4.45 on the softball field. Girls' tennis tryouts will be Tuesday, January 19th at 4.15 on the tennis courts. Students must have their athletic clearance paperwork and a physical completed in order to try out. Boys' tennis tryouts will be Wednesday, January 20th at 2.15 on the tennis courts. Baseball tryouts will be Monday, January 18th, and JV is at 2.30 and varsity is at 4. Students, again, must have athletic clearance paperwork and a physical completed in order to try out. Students, if you're interested in college and career opportunities or scholarship opportunities, check out the Guidance tab of the Baron Collier website. There is a college and career corner section and a scholarship section that lists all kinds of opportunities for students. Some of the newer ones that have been added recently are the Champions for Learning Organizations College and Career Preparation Opportunity, the 2021 Founders Scholarship Fund, and the Schultz Family Foundation College Scholarship. You can apply online directly through the links listed on the school website. Also, seniors, you can now follow the class of 2021 on Instagram, at Baron Cougars 2021. And that's a wrap for the BCTV News. For the blue and gray, go Cougars!